Floods, drought and warming of the oceans are taking their toll on native societies across the globe. This is the story behind the disappearing island nation of Kiribati. Kiribati is located in the center of the Pacific Ocean on both sides of the equator and it is barely six feet above sea level. When I was a child as well, there are some islands that we know that we can go to visit that, you know, just like for picnic purposes and things like that. But today, when we see that island, it's become like nothing on it, but getting getting disappeared. My family live is very close to the water. When there is a high tide, the water comes in inside the house and it destroys everything. With the receding shoreline, seawater invades everywhere. We have communities uh, which have, um, where the, the seawater has, in, has broken into the freshwater pond, destroyed the, the freshwater uh, lens, and destroyed food crop, crops. And so the source of livelihood is being affected. As the ocean closes in on the island nation, the government is looking to resettle its citizens in either Australia or New Zealand. They have this labor mobility program. So they train people locally. They're trying to find ways for our people to migrate with dignity and so they can contribute as well to the, to the country that they are moving to. Immigration comes with a heavy price for Kiribati's culture and traditions. It's forcing us to relocate. And I think deep down in our heart, we don't want to leave our country. It's more than just a country, you know, it's our identity. We don't want our language to be lost, the reality of it. You travel to another country, you know, you learn a different language. Even myself in Australia, I always want to be part of the Kiribati community. Like, we have dancing, we have independent celebration, and we want to have that sort of community. While the Kiribati Islands are remote and isolated from the big continents, their fate might serve as an important lesson. We are the most vulnerable, we're on the front line. And so before anybody else uh, will be affected, we will be. And so I had to make that statement to tell the world that if, if nothing, if, then, if nobody's going to do anything, then we, we have to do it because we have no choice. As immigration seems the most practical solution, the residents in Kiribati keep hoping for a miracle. There was even a plan to create artificial floating islands. But this project is too expensive to be carried out.